Hey guys, Al here from Howling Dingle. How are you going today? It's pretty hot. I'm out for a bit of a bushwalk. But, um, <laughs> really it's a bit hot today. Um, we do a bit of a gear review on a, on a canteen pouch. Uh, it's made by a company called The Hill People Gear. It's a relatively small company, I suppose. Not many of you guys are going to have heard of them. But, um, the canteen pouch they make is quite a radical uh, departure, really, from other canteen pouches you find on the market and when it comes to canteen pouches you really really do have a lot of selection but most of the canteen pouches you will find um, they follow the military model essentially they're a variation on the military style design and the thing about the pouch that we're about to look at is quite a radical departure from that and it is a lot less of a military style looking piece of gear which I actually personally quite like so anyway what I'm going to do, I'm going to get my canteen cup out, bit of a puff time for a brew, and we'll do a full review of this canteen pouch. Okay guys, let's get close up and personal and have a really good look at this canteen pouch by the Hill People Gear. Just a few of the basic facts about the pouch first. Uh, this retails for around $15. It's not generally available, it's only available from the Hill People Gear website. It's available in three different colours. This is a ranger green, there's a foliage green, and there's also a coyote brown available. There is a pouch very, very similar to this they make that houses a one litre Nalgene bottle as well. Okay, so first off the bat, let's just have a look here. We have the Hill People Gear logo, okay, this is a horse's medicine head. Okay, there is a little bit of an interesting story behind this logo actually, but you'll have to log on to their website and find out a little bit more about that. This is too much to go into at the moment. But we have a webbing strap here. Now if I just pull this back, you can see that this pouch has been well used. It's a little bit grimy. It has been a well loved piece of gear, okay? So do take that into consideration. Uh, it's not a brand spanking new bit of gear. Um, so we follow this webbing round. And here we have two attachment points here on either side, okay? Now most of you guys are going to be familiar with this. These are designed to be attached to PAL webbing, which most people would refer to as Molly webbing. For those of you guys who don't know what that is, that is a military style webbing system also used in civilian packs. I'll just show you here, here's another pouch, that's what that looks like, okay? Most of you guys will be familiar with that, it's quite common these days, okay? So, uh, we flip around the other side again. Now this is quite well insulated. Alright, this will afford a certain amount of insulation, will keep the contents of your canteen uh, cool to some extent. And if we look at the top, now this is probably where there is the most radical departure uh, from other canteen designs. We have a piece of bungee cord. Now I've tightened this a little bit with use, uh, it has got loose but it doesn't take much to tighten up again. So we take it off, okay, canteen comes out, one handed, on your belt, my rucksack usually and straight back on, okay? That's quite a different, quite an unusual design, okay? If we look at the back again, we do have these two attachment points, okay? Now these are a little bit, a little bit of a mystery. There's no explanation given on their website what these are for. You have these two little buckles here. Mystery, you have to use your imagination. Of course, you could use it as an attachment point for some kind of haversack rig, you know? You could put a bit of cordage through that, carry it over your shoulder and carry the canteen that way. So that's your basic setup, okay? Now, the most radical thing and the thing that's really different about this canteen pouch compared to other stuff that's on the market is it will not accommodate a canteen cup, okay? You will not be able to fit your canteen cup in here, all right? Now, on the, their website, the reason given for this is that the canteen cup is too heavy, okay? And they're waiting for somebody to invent a lighter version of the canteen cup. I, I tend to disagree, I don't think canteen cups are too heavy. Uh, maybe if you were ultralight backpacker, then it may be a few grams too heavy, but for most people interested in bushcraft, wilderness survival, the outdoors, people who go hunting, it's a perfectly uh, great bit of kit, perfectly usable, and it's not too heavy, it's very robust, okay? So, beg to differ with their opinion, and I have to say, there is a certain thing, if you're going to use these canteen bottles, whether it be the military, obviously this will accommodate the military bottle as well, whether it be the military or the Nalgene, 
you're going to use the canteen system, you know, it seems very bizarre that you would separate it from the cup, okay? That's the great thing about these systems, this system that the, the, the bottle nests inside the cup with the stove, you know, and it saves on space and it's a great bit of kit. So they've kind of gone, they've tried to separate the two, which I kind of disagree with personally. But, I mean, how I usually roll with this, I'll have this on my belt and I'll have a secondary canteen, at least one canteen in my backpack and that will have the stove on it and the cup on it nesting inside. So that's how I roll with it. I find it very convenient for day hikes just because of this very simple closure system, okay? Now, the one issue I have had is with the, the harness system here with the attachments. Now, the problem is you are very, very limited, okay? You have these PAL clips and that's it, all right? There's, there's nothing else. And what happened is the actual rucksack that I originally used with this uh, pouch, which was Molly compatible, got stolen. So I had to adapt a little bit and I used these, okay? So you, these are the old style keepers, keepers clips, okay? Used in the Alice packs. So they go like that and I've had to adapt it and change it. There is a lack of versatility here, okay? Now if you look at other pouches, again, here's the Maxpedition. A lot of versatility, you can put molly straps in there. Here's the military issue pouch, okay? You've got molly straps, you can all rig that onto almost any rucksack that's got a belt, really. Ordinary hiking packs, as well as other molly compatible packs. So there's a certain less lack of versatility there. That would be my one criticism of the pouch. Um, the way I look at it, about this pouch, is this is your light loader, okay? It's a very, very minimal piece of equipment, okay? If you want a pouch, you know, to do everything. That's going to carry your cup, it's going to carry your, uh, your stove. You've got these two pouches on the side. You know, this is your military issue, your GI, your latest reincarnation of the, uh, the canteen pouch design. So that's your heavy loader. You've got your two pouches, fire steels, hexi blocks, you name it. Your heavy loader. And this is your minimal rig. So the two things are polar ends, you know. They're polar opposites, really. Uh, just quickly, now some of you might be looking at this canteen and thinking oh, that's a really funny shade of uh, green, it's just some uh, knockoff made in China canteen. Uh, actually it's not. This is the Australian Army military canteen and what happened was during the Vietnam War obviously the Americans and the Australians were fighting side by side and the Australians adopted a lot of the uh, military style equipment that the Americans were using including the canteen system. So we can get our own canteen cups here in Australia and we can get our own uh, canteen bottles as well and that's how I got into this style of gear. So anyway, there's the Hell People Gear Canteen pouch. Uh, I mean, I like it. It is a good design. I think it does have its certain limitations. Certainly this needs to be looked at. It would be better if we had some molly straps here, molly webbing. It would give it more flexibility. And certainly, you know, a version, at least our version, where they put the canteen cup inside the pouch would, would it make it more popular. But I mean, I would recommend it. Like I said, I have well used this piece of a piece of gear, and all the stitching is held up pretty well as a well-made piece of gear. It's not going to be for everybody, but like I say, that's how I look at it. I look at it as the the low-profile light loader. That's your heavy duty, the full Monty. Hey guys, how you going? Hope you don't mind if I walk and talk again. But this is going to be uh, my review for the Canteen.com competition reviewer for a year. Um, how you going, Rob? So I hope you've enjoyed this review and certainly be more to come hopefully. Um, I just wanted to have a quick word of just about how I feel about reviews in general. So I'm gonna have to do a little bit of a little bit of beer grills here. Um, just how I feel about re reviews generally in the bushcraft community and in YouTube. And I do think they are a useful asset. I mean certainly anytime I go to buy a new piece of gear, I always look at the YouTube videos that other people have done before me. And it helps me make an informed decision if that's the right piece of gear for me. And um, certainly when I do my reviews, certainly pack in a lot of information, you know. And try and cover areas that haven't been covered by other reviewers. Bushcraft in itself and being in the outdoors isn't all about, about really isn't all about gear. That's just part of the story. And certainly having good gear and having good equipment, you know, helps a lot. You know, I mean, I've been... Uh, and walks in the bush and stuff like that, I had pretty craft equipment, like really shockingly bad gear. And certainly your experience is lessened. When you've got good gear, you hardly notice it. Um, when you've got bad gear, you really, really know about it. So, you know, it's all part of the story. Certainly skills 
and knowledge are more important than mere equipment, you know, equipment can always be replaced. But that's my little bit of a take about it. Just how I like to do reviews anyway is I like to take the camera out like this and out into nature, out into the scrub, out into the bush and do my videos here. Because this is where, you know, um, this is where this gear is meant to be used and tested and you know, this is, I feel this is where it should be reviewed not in some kind of like a workshop or shed or kitchen so anyway hope you enjoy the video catch you next time guys <laughs> hey guys, Al here from Howling Dingle. Um, we did a bit of a gear review for you guys today. It's going to be of a canteen pouch by the uh, by the hill people. The, the hill, Benny Hill. Actually, Benny Hill made the canteen pouch. We're going to be singing along like this. <laughs> Alright, let's take 25 of that. That again, Alan. <laughs> 